Hello and welcome to Graphic Online News and Brief. In the headlines, Parliament approves Kise Jabin as Special Prosecutor. Coalition of Muslim Organizations Ghana supports anti-LGBTQI draft bill. Lawyer who named Chief Justice in bribery scandal faces nine professional misconduct charges. And a nine-year-old schoolboy overwhelmed by gifts and public response to his lovely letter to his mom to help him mark our day. News in Brief is brought to you by Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the News in Brief. Parliament has unanimously approved the President's nominee for the Office of the Special Prosecutor, Mr. Kisie Jabin. His approval comes after the Appointment Committee submitted its report after vetting Kisie Jabin. On July 22 this year, the Appointment Committee, chaired by the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Joseph Oseusu, unanimously recommended Mr. Jabin for appointment as the Special Prosecutor. Members of the committee who vetted him on the same day were convinced he can replace Mr. Martin Amidu, who resigned from the position on November 2020. During Mr. Jabin's vetting, he indicated that he has no intentions of resorting to the strategies of his predecessor in fighting corruption in Ghana. He will rather rely on his own experiences and professional training to effectively deliver on his mandate as a special prosecutor. The Coalition of Muslim Organizations Ghana have expressed support for the eight members of parliament sponsoring the anti-LGBTQI plus draft bill. The coalition is urging the parliamentarians to remain resolute in ensuring the passage of the bill. In a statement signed by its president, Mr. Prince Zakaria, the coalition also praised the Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Alban Bagbin, for forming a committee to draft the bill. They explained that the bill is timely as there is an influx of different cultural values in the society. They are hopeful that the bill will help curb growing immorality in the society to which the young are being exposed. They also want traditional and religious leaders to support the bill. The Disciplinary Committee of the General Legal Council has preferred nine charges of professional misconduct against Kumasi based lawyer Kwesi Efifa. Mr. Efifa alleges his former client once told him the Chief Justice was demanding a bribe of 5 billion Ghana cities to sway the verdict of a pendant case in his favor. The client, Oji Dom Obrenu Kwesiata the Sith of Gomua Francine, the Central Region, has denied the allegation and rather petitioned the General Legal Council to help him retrieve an amount of $75,000 being part of a $100,000 sum he allegedly gave to a FIFA to procure a favorable verdict from the Supreme Court. But the charges against lawyer FIFA say his statement imputing judicial manipulation by the Chief Justice is reckless and diminishes public confidence in the administration of justice. A FIFA also failed to protect the sanctity and integrity of the legal profession when he failed to disclose the allegation of bribery against the Chief Justice to the Disciplinary Committee of the Judicial Council or any other statutory body for an inquiry. Besides, he also failed to defend the reputation of the legal profession and rather facilitated the commission of the alleged bribery offence when he refunded legal fees he was entitled to and at the same time failed to issue any receipt to his former client. In our final story, a nine-year-old boy's passionate letter to his mother about a list of items he needed for the last day of his school term, popularly called our day, has gone viral on social media. Oswald Genu, in a written letter, asked his mother to get him some provisions to share with his friends and a big bottle of Coca-Cola for his teacher. Genu, who is a pupil of Christ Ambassador School in Dansuman in Accra, wrote the letter asking his mother not to disappoint him because he did very well in his exams. The letter duly found its way onto social media and on Friday, July 30, he was overwhelmed with gifts and love from various brands. Within hours of the post, several brands offered to sponsor Oswald's dream. Speaking to Graphic Online, his mother, Mrs. Rita Genu, and lucky teacher, Mrs. Sapia, thanked all who supported the dream party. I feel, very happy. I feel I, very happy. I didn't know that all of them are going to support me and give me a lot of things. So okay. I'm also amazed and surprised. Our day list, yes, that's the first time. But there's been other lists that he writes. Initially, when he got his tablet, 
He went at the list of the apps that I should put on it, and the games and things I should put on for, so that I don't forget. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so much happy. He's very intelligent. He's a good boy. Very curious. Yes, he's very intelligent. Yes. Two, two, three. Everybody say. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again on Monday with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Juliet Echa Safo. Subscribe now.